right, we're in New York right now, and um, we've just landed in LaGuardia. We need to get to JFK to make it to our flight in about two hours. The traffic right now is coming up to be around 26 minutes. Can we take a second to appreciate my Charlotte Tilbury glowgasm right now? To JFK and I think we're gonna be all right. How much time do we have left, babe? Uh, we'll get there at 720. 720. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be Vivek's first time in the Q Suites and I can't wait to vlog his reaction. I bet he's gonna drink so much champagne. Right, babe? Yeah. So we finally made it to the business class lounge and feels like we can finally breathe and relax. Oh my gosh, it's been so crazy. The security lines have been insane. And it was just a lot of chaos getting through traffic and coming here. We still have about 30 minutes before we board, so we have champagne to just calm our nerves. We're walking over to our gate. We're one glass of champagne in. This flight is operated by American Airlines and it is completely trash. I mean, there is no service here whatsoever. None. I wanna go. I wanna go. <laughs> How's it going? This is pretty lame. I don't really think much about these things. Is this a flight? Oh my god. So we originally thought we were getting into Q Suites for our 14 hour flight from JFK to Doha, but it's actually an American Airlines. It's actually an American Airlines. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. The Vic is pissed right now. Like, look at that. He's like, oh my God, what the fuck? 14 hours of American Airlines. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's not a cute suite. That's for sure. But I wanted to come here and just talk about how I have resumed wedding planning, which is really nice and fun. And honestly, at this point, I've, I've imagined and planned out a wedding in so many different places. We were originally supposed to get married in Mexico, and then my father, he, my dad, he got sick and we've just been so busy looking after him and trying to figure out what's going to happen to him. It's taken away from wedding planning anyway. So we've resumed now. Um, it's going to happen in Atlanta in about three months time. And part of the reason why we're going to Bangladesh is not just to see my family, obviously, which is the highest priority, but also to be able to wedding shop. So it'll be really fun and nice to bring you guys along. So yeah, I'm excited. Guys, we are at immigration. The business class immigration is a whole separate lounge. Like, it's completely empty, so beautiful, and I can't believe the spread and selection that they have here. Like, this is insane for immigration. Can you believe it? We're just trying to get into the country. Vivek is like, impressed 
I cannot believe that we are at immigration and there's a lounge for immigration. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> what? And they also have soy latte. I was like, do you have soy milk? And she's like, let me check. And they have non-dairy options. I'm like, shook. How is it? It's so good. Guys, it's so sad. After all my efforts to try and get into Doha, because I hold a Bangladeshi passport, they didn't let me in. So now we're stuck in the airport lounges until our flight tomorrow at 10. Right now it is 7.30 and we have more than 12 hours to spend at this lounge airport. So we'll take you along. Vivek really wanted to go out. We had already gotten a hotel and we had health insurance that's mandatory. And the immigration officer basically looked at my passport and said, hey, do you have any other nationalities? I'm like, no, I don't, just Bangladesh. And he's like, well, you should have a visa. But what's interesting is that I looked into this visa requirement and for Bangladesh nationals, you don't, it said online, you don't need it. So I don't know what he was saying. And he's saying that the only time the only way he would let me in is if Qatar Airlines gave me a yellow voucher for a hotel and things like that so I went to Qatar Airways and then they're like no we don't do that unless your flight is delayed canceled whatever blah 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 then we provide hotels otherwise we don't so after tons of back and forth um, it was a no-go and we just finished our uh, security at the transfer desk and now we're gonna walk around Vivek's bummed Friends, this is looking crazy. It is now past nine o'clock and after eating our hearts out, we decided that Vivek would step out since he already has a hotel in Doha and I'm gonna stay back. So I'm getting ready for bed and I wanted to originally, oh, check out the gold stores. Cute, right? Anyway, so I wanted to sleep. So we walked in to the Oryx Lounge Oryx, am I saying it right? I don't know. And they told us there that they don't have any rooms and then told us to go to this other spot called Sleep and Fly and they take priority pass. So I walked over to one of those near Gate B. They're full. They're like, there's another sleep and go near Gate C30. So we're walking over there. I hope I get a bed to sleep tonight, else I'm in trouble. I'll keep you posted. This C30 gate is quite the hike if we get there and there's no bed i'm gonna be spent i don't think i'll have the energy to come back to the main area i might just have to camp out near c30 and then come back the next morning for my flight it's crazy so at this point we have 12 hours to go in doha airport until we board our flight to dhaka and you know what so far we're doing we're doing bad oh, not bad we're doing we're doing good sleep and go that we um, initially um, were trying to get into. I was lucky enough to get in. Um, there was only one bed left and it was like for eight hours of sleep. So it's right now like around 10.30 I think um, for about one hour, ten up, for about eight hours of sleep it was like $150 or something like that. Um, and so they dropped me off here and then he went to he left, he went out to go check out whatever he can this late at night of Doha so that he could consider that being checked off. And meanwhile, I'm just getting ready for bed because I'm tired. 
but um yeah so this place is really cool because they have showers as well i mean the lounge had showers but like i didn't think about it i didn't think about having to shower in the lounge until we got out and then realized that there were any hotel rooms available so i didn't shower in the lounge i could have done that there for free but this one it's like a 30 minute shower for twenty dollars but if you have priority pass it's free so i got it for free but it's really interesting they don't take amex so amex priority pass did not let me through but chase priority pass let me through so either way i saved myself 20 bucks and i like to remind myself about these wins because every year they charge a crazy fee and when you remind yourself about the little perks it all makes it worth it I'm using caudalie serum right now i have the eye cream this is the serum I'm just doing my skincare I'm trying to feel normal and relax so i can go to bed soon I even brought my jammies with me, so I didn't get to take my suitcase out. It's uh, still with them. It's gonna go directly to Taka. Hopefully they don't lose it. That'll be tragic. But um, yeah, I have my PJs that I'm gonna put on and go to my little pod and sleep. Um, oh, they have a Dyson here as well, so I'm thinking I'll dry my hair as well. I wash my hair because I don't know if this happens to you guys, but like anytime I'm flying long haul flights, my hair gets extremely oily from the frizz, frizz and the dryness, so um, I had to wash my hair, which is also a huge relief. Oh my gosh, and then I have this number nine serum. I have been collecting so many samples from Sephora. Every time I'm, like, I, I spend 100 points, I get tiny little samples and I put them all in my bag so that when the day comes, I have all these fancy things to try on. this new shampoo from away and I just saw that the lid was open if I don't look there's no leak right so I'm just not gonna look what a dumb packaging like why would this happen anyway uh, I just need to put on my moisturizer dry my hair and get out of here because I want to walk right now I only get 30 minutes for the shower so some more cuddly and then it's bedtime. Our flight is at 10 tomorrow, so I have all morning to get up and, you know, maybe just like check out a few stores. I want to lather on the skincare because I had so much champagne, my skin is super dry. The pores are all big, I can see it. And like, this is important because when you land in Bangladesh and your family members see you, the first thing they comment on is, oh, your skin is this that blah 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 oh you've gained weight lost weight like it's all physical appearance so i have a lot of pressure to look my best when i arrive in bangladesh hence why i'm doing all this anyway i'll see you guys later bye got any sleep because this bed is not soft at all it reclines into a flat bed but otherwise it's kind of like a reclining chair that goes flat and yeah it's not so soft um, I tried to sleep I'm supposed to be awake in US time but I tried to sleep to kill time and I couldn't I was on Instagram the whole time but yeah it was also kind of noisy outside people were going in and out so it's not fully quiet um, so yeah I kept getting interrupted I'm hoping that Vivek wakes up soon so that he can come back and we can go back to the lounge and have breakfast together check out the breakfast menu and hopefully Vivek will find me there he's like oh yeah I'll come meet you after sunrise he wants to watch sunrise by it is another day and the airport is back to be super busy.
I have never been to this area or this part of the airport. It is legit like a shopping mall. There's a Fendi cafe here. Do I really want to pay overpriced pay premium for like the F imprinted on my coffee? No thank you, but oh my gosh, there's so much shopping here. This is insane. Too bad I'm doing wedding shopping so I can't shop around here. But oh my god, look at the Fendi Cafe. So cute. So cute. So cute. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. There's a whole ass Jurassic Park in here. <laughs> this is insane. This is a croissant. Oh, a cha. Vivek is certainly in a better mood today. He's got his coffee. Oh yeah, all him. He's ordered his food. Omelette. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Can we get two napkins, please? Sure. I don't know. They have better um, yeah, no, that's fine. No, like, um, napkins, like a... Let me check. Okay, thank you. They don't do napkins here, buddy. When in Rome. I don't want to spell. <sighs> Hello, we are now in a private bus that's going to take us all the way to our plane and we're going to take off to Taka. I'm thinking should I just end the vlog here? I think I should. And then start Taka vlog when I land in Taka no, and show you guys. We should, get, we should get the um, flight. We should get the flight? And then we'll end. Okay, we'll show you guys the flight because we've been dying for this key suite. Hopefully this... Hopefully this plane has a cute suite that would be really nice. Like I, I don't even know, but like uh, yeah. So we'll we'll board and then end the vlog there and then do another vlog for Taka. So you're gonna see it all. He's finally happy. What do you think? I, I'm gonna find out what this is about. 